On February 3rd, the Coral Springs Police Department arrested Jason Sid and charged him for a felony for misuse of a 911 system. 911, what is your emergency? Hello, um, I'm calling because I see like weird suspicious activities at a gas station. Like On January 27th, 2022, Jason Sid directed an accomplice to make a 911 call to report fictitious activity. During that call, they told the 911 operator that they observed the subject going in and out of an orange Mercedes Benz. The activity they described was consistent with narcotic sales. Jason Sid sat in the orange Mercedes Benz as the fictitious 911 call was being made on the occupants of the orange Mercedes Benz that they were sitting in. This was all part of a recorded prank that Jason Sid entitled Coke Prank on Aggressive Cops. We're in the most hottest area right now, but look how quick they pull up. <laughs> Get the camera? Get the camera? How you doing, officer? Is there a problem? I don't know. Is there a problem? What's going on, uh, officer? You guys, what are you guys doing here? We're just chilling. Yeah. We just we just got a camera. Uh, we're just chilling. We're hanging out. Just, just chilling. Chilling and hanging out at a gas station. No, nah, we just pulled, we literally just pulled out to grab something. We live around here, bro. This Jason Sid did this in the hopes of showing how overly aggressive police officers are when they respond to these calls. As you can see from the video, my officers responded and were polite and professional as they investigated the fictitious situation that was created by Jason Sid and his accomplices. Jason Sid hoped to show you out of control cops harassing three young men, but what they got were courteous, polite, and professional law enforcement officers who investigated the suspicious activity that they themselves created. You don't have to tell them where you live, bro. All right, I'm gonna come around and talk to them. You don't have to, no, you don't have to tell them where you live, bro. Right, you don't so have, you, live? you don't have to give them your ID. But right, we, we got stuff in the car, bro. You got stuff in the car. No, why would, what do you say there, I'm not, bro, I'm not going to jail for you, I'm not, bro. Can I get my ID back, sir? Hey, bro. Well, he has stuff. We have stuff in the trunk, officer. Stuff in the trunk. Why would I'm you just, tell them this, bro? Uh, you're not going to, Jason Sid and his accomplices think they're funny, but what they really are doing is taking four Coral Springs police officers out of service for other true emergencies. While these officers were tied up on a made-up call, they were unavailable to respond to vehicle accidents, EMS calls like heart attacks, and other real emergencies. What if it were your family member that needed the services and the closest officer to your emergency was tied up on his fictitious call? The Coral Springs Police Department takes this seriously. I'm personally offended by the waste of our resources. This is why we immediately investigated this incident and subsequently arrested Jason Sid. This investigation is still ongoing and other subjects may be arrested as well. Our investigation revealed that seven emergency calls for services were delayed because of this fictitious call orchestrated by Jason Sid. Our officers regularly respond to emergency calls where a delay in response could mean life or death. Last year, members of my department received 27 life-saving awards responding to true emergencies and providing emergency first aid and CPR. Over the last few years, We've all seen how non-compliance with the police have led to deadly outcomes for officers and citizens alike. Do you have ID on you? That's what we're asking. We're not. Take your hat off your head. Jason Sid and his accomplices are glorifying non-compliance in an attempt to show you aggressive cops for his video. This type of behavior isn't funny, and it can lead to serious injury and death. Haven't we learned anything? You must comply with the lawful orders of police officers who are lawfully investigating suspicious incidents and or criminal activity. This is a dangerous prank that could have led to deadly consequences. This prank by Jason Sid and his accomplices is no laughing matter. It's not a source for his entertainment. It's a crime. I have a message for Jason Sid and anyone who misuses our 911 system and our law enforcement resources, not in Coral Springs, because in our city, we believe in accountability. Anyone who interrupts the important public safety services we provide to our community will be held accountable and charged accordingly.
Our goal is to keep our citizens safe. Our citizens help us with that endeavor, and we appreciate your continued support. As you can see, the joke's on him.